The economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic is beginning to reawaken developing countries in particular of the need to look more inward for solutions rather than being dependent on other countries. Ghana, for instance, spends over $300 million annually to import rice, a situation that has stifled the growth of local rice production. Local rice farmers have consistently complained about a lack of support by way of inputs, cheaper credit and ready markets. The Ghana Commodity Exchange serves as a link between agricultural producers and buyers and provides an avenue for producers and buyers to be able to trade in a structured manner. This intervention means that rice farmers and millers can be sure of ready markets with competitive prices once they meet the expected quality standard. In an interview with City Business News, Chief Operations Officer for the Exchange, Robert Dowona O, said, with the certification of some warehouses still pending, trading of rice should commence soon. We intend to list or start trading straight milled rice from the drabbing. Um, warehouse um, upon receiving the final approval from the regulator. As you are aware, we are a regulated entity regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission, and therefore every warehouse that we trade from must be licensed or approved by the Securities and Exchange Commission, which means that it must be certified by the Ghana Standards Authority, which means that it must um, be certified by the fire service guys. Um, we must ensure that um, it meets the food and drugs, um, requirements. We must ensure that the warehouse has everything that is needed to keep that particular commodity safe. So that is the last stage where we are now. Um, we've received from the driving side, we've received our fire certificate, among other things. So we currently waiting for the Securities and Exchange Commission to finish what um, the work that they need to do because they need to approve it. Then we can officially start trading from the warehouse. We looking at the end of this month into the first week of October to start the actual trading. The exchange also says the rice from local farmers will be subjected to intense tests and parameter checks to ensure that they meet the requirements of buyers. During the value chain analysis, what we realized from most of the buyers were that um, the quality that they require from the millers are sometimes not what they get um, and so they are forced most of the time to look at imported grains that come in now the gcs as i told you is a structured market and has standards to follow and rules so any rise that comes out of the gcs if it's a grade one it has certain parameters it has to meet and so any male rice that does not meet those parameters will not be able to trade on the exchange and so they are excited provided we can give them the um the quality that they want from the rice mills so from october this year you should expect to see the straight milled rice the paddy rice and the parboiled milled rice listed as part of the commodities that the ghana commodity exchange trade in for city business news my name is mina w Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our City TV YouTube channel for more videos on the Business Dashboard. Tune in and stay updated on the key business news stories of the day with Business Dashboard every weekday at 7 p.m. only on City TV.